Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody, it's Alma, so I'm getting ready to do a meal prep, which always starts off with a little bit of bacon. So I have my bacon here on my lovely George Foreman grill. Let me finish this batch up. Here it is, and I thought, well, let me go ahead and do a dessert that I've been wanting to do. I saw a video a while back, uh, about a year ago, and I thought, okay, yeah, that sounds good, but I need to almify it, so that's what I'm doing. This came from Ruled Me, and it's chocolate-covered bacon, guys. The first step is to lay out 13 pieces of bacon. I've got the first seven laid out. I'm gonna work with half a batch at a time. So the next step is coating your bacon with maple extract. I don't have maple extract. I'm using half a tablespoon of almond and half a tablespoon of vanilla, and then two tablespoons of stevia, of erythritol, whatever you have and that's going to go across both sides of the 13 pieces of bacon. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I've taken off my bacon. I just finished the meal prepping, yummy. Just under three pounds of bacon. We're going to set that. Prepared my bacon and on to my George Foreman grill they're going to go. It's set at 400 degrees. If you're doing this in the oven, you want to use thick cut bacon. She says 40 minutes on 400 degrees. If you're using thin cut, you're gonna to wanna to decrease the amount of cook time and or the temperature. I'm gonna research what the proper setting will be and put that in the direction. All right guys, so here's my drip tray that needs to be transferred once it cools off. Here's my new drip tray that's gonna have sweet, and I'm probably gonna save this too. I'll just mark on the container that it's, that it's sweetened. All right guys, so let me go ahead and shut the lid on my foreman and we'll start cooking. All right guys, so I have the last of the bacon cooking right over here. And here is some of the bacon that I've cooked. And here is the chocolate mix. All right, in here we have five tablespoons of the bacon drippings, the sweetened bacon drippings. We have four tablespoons of Ghirardelli unsweetened cocoa. And we have about, I did three or four big squirts of stevia. She says 15 drops, but when she, in her video, it looks like she's using more. So I went ahead and just did some big squirts. Now what we're gonna do is chop up some roasted pecans. I didn't roast mine. I don't think that's a mandatory step, up to you. It probably would taste really good that way. I'm just not doing it. And then my twist on things, which is also some pork rinds and cayenne. I'm gonna do half of it with cayenne, half without. I just put my pecans in a Ziploc bag and just started pounding on them. I couldn't find my meat tenderizer, so this is what I use. My little lemon thing. Pound, 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 and we're good to go. Did, did the same thing with pork rinds. And the pork rinds, guys, will actually, you know, help add a little bit of fat to the fat content of your little dessert. All right, guys, let's get started dipping. All right, guys, so next step, take your bacon, dip it, and, and then take a cookie sheet, line up parchment paper, and there you go. And you only want to do one side, by the way. All right. There we go. All right, guys, that looks kind of good to me. So I have lots of leftover chocolate, and like I said, any areas where we didn't get really good saturation of chocolate, we can just spoon it on. I'm gonna do half the batch with cayenne, and I'm just taking my cayenne pepper, guys, and literally sprinkling it. I know, if you're not a fan of spicy, just omit this part. Hi, Daisy. And then we're going to take our crushed pecans. And then I'm going to take my pork rind dust. This is going to give us savory and sweet at the same time, guys. All right, let me finish it up. You get the point. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, here is the finished product. I wish the lighting was better in here right now. But here it is. I have three different flavors. Uh, this one is the one with the pork rinds, the cayenne. This one is just uh, red pepper chili flakes and uh, pork rinds. And this one is the original recipe. All right, we're gonna have David do a taste test. Hey David, wanna do a taste test? I do. <laughs> that looks like bacon covered with chocolate. <laughs> My two favorite things in the world. I love you. Okay, so the first one on your left has cayenne pepper in it, and it has 
uh, pork rinds on. Center is the original recipe with last one has red pepper flakes. Let's do this. Oh, oh. hello. What? Are you gonna give me my piece? No. <laughs> piece. Rude. Take your precious little All piece. Right. Cheers. Yeah. All right, ready? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Turn that off for a moment. <laughs> good. Oh, that is good. It's chocolate and bacon. Chocolate and bacon. Wow. Okay. Let's try that out. Original? Yeah, the original. Very good, but I like the pork rinds on it. Because pork rind adds that salt to it. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so good, though. <laughs> but it's still good. Mm -hmm. It's still really good. Mm -hmm. I just like it with sweet and savory. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the last one has red pepper flakes on it. So, if you can figure out a way to put candy sprinkles on eggs, <laughs> this would be a perfect record. Cheers. I would honestly be more liberal with the heat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I wasn't man. sure if, we, if it'd be too much, but it's, it's it, I actually could use more on it. I think you could go with just a touch more cracked pepper. Red pepper. Red pepper, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just just a smack. Oh my goodness, baby! I don't think I would ever make it without the pork rinds. I, I yeah, yeah. Whatever you did was perfect. I, I don't think that there is a scale for this. It is in a class by itself. Okay. Perfectly cooked bacon is good in there, but when you get it a little crispy, a little overcooked, that was like it's like candy. full of flavor. Yeah. Wow. Exploded in my mouth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you right now just how lucky a man I am to be in this house and to come home to a plate full of chocolate bacon. Yes. Was it worth having to sweep the floors? Oh, yeah. <laughs> want me to sweep them again? All right, guys. Try it out. This is a, a, the original recipe came from Ruled Me. I'll leave a link to that as well. And then my tweak to it was adding heat with either cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, and then of course the pork rind dust. All right, have a blessed day, bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right guys, have a great day, bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.